So hi guys and welcome back. Today we have this uh, FPV monitor from SkySide Hobby on our bench. I have been using this for the last few weeks. I used it uh, uh, very much during flying, so I'm now ready to do a review on it. Uh, basically that's a 7 inch monitor with a, a resolution of 800 times 480 pixels. And well, I will just start about talking what I really like about it, then go through its main features and of course show you some DVR video from it. So yes, it can record your video, which is really one of the main uh, plus points for me. So what I really love about this is just its simplicity. So you go to the flying field, you simply uh, turn it on and basically you are ready for action. Of course, you need to uh, choose the channel first. So this also brings us to a nice feature of it. So this is a race band, uh, 40 channel receiver uh, with diversity is included. But what I just wanted to point out, you simply turn it on, you press record here, uh, you see the little red icon there on top. Yeah, you can see it and it's recording. So it's as simple as that and I really love that because well I have a beautiful nice recording of my DVR videos people can just ride along with me by watching this monitor and well I can't be happier than that with it. This brings us to the next point the uh, quality of the DVR uh, video it is very very nice. So before that, before I used uh, this one, I had a solution where I used my phone for recording. A friend of mine had his uh, 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 another receiver with an integrated uh, DVR and another friend of mine had his fat sharks and while well, we compared the, the video recording the DVR quality of all of them and this was the best. Uh, okay, this is of course very subjective. What I really like is it will automatically choose between PAL and NTSC and record it at the, at the right frame rate and uh, at, at 25 or 30 frames per second and it records at up to 6 megabit per second, which is a very high recording rate for the low resolution. So this really captures all the detail. We will have sample DVR videos of many different cameras in just a moment, but first let's go through the other features of uh, this great monitor. It, I already told it, it supports race band, so you can simply choose the channel and of course uh, the band here. So race band is for supported, so we have uh, the complete 40 channels available. As you can see, it has diversity. So that means you can actually hook up two antennas here and the monitor will itself get the signal from the better antenna. How will you use that usually? Usually, it's not here in this case, but usually you will have a directional antenna like these panel antennas. Let me quickly grab you one of them. There we have it. So this is the panel antenna, which you know well from my uh, range test of the EA Shine 25 milliwatt transmitter. So usually you will put a directional antenna here. Oh, well, let's put it here, the directional antenna here and an omnidirectional antenna here. So as long as you are in front of the monitor or of the antenna here, you will always get that, uh, the signal from the directional antenna. And if you happen to fly behind the monitor, uh, you will still get a great signal from the omnidirectional antenna. So why I am using here two omnidirectional antennas, once the clever leaf and once the rubber ducky, there is a simple reason for that. Uh, I have some micro quads where I simply use a VIP antenna. You know it from my videos, uh, for example, my H, my e H and H8 copter. And for these simple VIP antennas, the little rubber ducky, which is also a VIP antenna, as you know, simply gives me less distortions than the clever leaf. Of course, less range as well, but that's irrelevant for a microcode because I don't fly away 
uh, uh, much, but less distortions. This is why I have this configuration here. But of course, you can put uh, on any antennas you like. This has diversity built in. It is very nice. What uh, more can I say about that? Yes, you can see we have here all the different uh, uh, buttons. I will show it to them in the camera a bit better. Yeah, so power on and off. This will also get you into the menu. Uh, up and down for selecting the uh, channel and of course the band. And here for starting recording and uh, here the button, uh, which is a bit mislabeled, which gets you into, uh, all, uh, of course, reviewing your DVR recording videos. Uh, let's go through the menu just quickly. So if I uh, press here, you can see you can choose all kinds of options. Uh, record sound, yes, no, flip horizontal, vertical, display ratio, OSD timeout, OSD transparency, you have all the options here also for system, you can change the language. The BPM channel, we come to that in a second. I have, oh, sorry, we can have an automatic shutdown, uh, format your card and reset to uh, factory settings. And here, of course, just the usual settings for the uh, display, brightness, contrast, saturation, hue and sharpness. So that's all nothing new. Let's go out of that again. But what I wanted to get at is we have this second uh, series of buttons here. And this, which is really nice, <laughs> will actually let you control your uh, uh, Sky HD 01 camera, which I reviewed earlier, the link should be right here from the monitor. So you can just for this uh, camera set, uh, uh, tell it to start recording now, take a photo now and so on. So how does this work? This uh, little uh, uh, monitor actually has a BPM out here, which connects to the trainer board of your radio and through that, it can talk with your uh, Sky HD01 camera and control it. <laughs> this is a really nice feature. Uh, it doesn't add much to the price of it, so it's still very cheap, but, but it is nice to have. And I wonder, since this is a BPM out, if you can actually use it for other stuff as well. So the, the beeps which you just heard <laughs> were actually my little Satam R180, which I just used to have some nice image here on the monitor. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and well, it was just an inactivity alert, you know. <laughs> so where was I? Yes, that was the BPM out feature, which is really nice. What else can we say about this? Of course, let's go through the connectors here. So you already saw uh, the BPM out, you have a little reset button here, uh, DC in, you can use that to charge it. So we will go to the camera's battery, sorry, we will go to the battery of that in just a second. And this can be used uh, to charge it, simply apply 12 volts of it to it and it of course comes with a charging cable. A micro SD card slot, of course, for recording your uh, video and here on the other side also some nice things we actually have an HDMI and I guess this could be nice for just watching video on the monitor or for your favorite DJI products which offer a HDMI out and we also have an uh, AV out audio video out and AV in which you can also use to supply video to the monitor and of course the USB port here which you can use to access the videos stored on your micro SD card from your computer. That works great as well. I have been using it a lot. So what else? We went through the HDMI port. This is nice. Ah uh, yeah of course. Uh, let's quickly turn it off here and put it around. So we talked about the charging and this one really comes with a really nice battery. I will take it out for you because this is really nice. It comes with a 7.4 volts, so 2S. 
2800 milliampere uh, lipo battery which is great because it provides a really really long run time to this monitor so i have um, been using it for long flight days and it actually never ran out of juice so you really get several hours of of run time through that battery and for charging you get one of these cables here which will plug in uh, here on the DC in and on the other side uh, of the cable you have this GST connector and here you simply uh, power it uh, with 12 volts and this will charge the battery of this monitor so this is a cable which comes with it some more things which I didn't show before let's just put it aside so this is the basic packaging of it which looks really nice as well so you can see this is a, a high quality packaging it puts, gives you the, the major features of it this is the Sky 708 and when we unbox this here quickly I can show you the other accessories which this one comes with of course it comes with a nice manual and when I say a nice manual I mean this is not a Chinglish manual but an English manual which looks very professional so I'm more than happy with it and it explains everything really well what else we got here is of course some more cables so you get this AV in out cable which you can use with the connector which I showed you before and this is actually what I wanted to show you you of course get this uh, shades here of course as well which you can use when you use your monitor in bright sunlight so you can put that on and this will give you uh, some an even better visibility uh, talking about that the visibility of that one is not bad at all so let's just try it here so even at an angle as you can see so this is a quite hefty angle already here and even at an angle there is still good visibility with this display it is bright so I'm here at the extreme angle you can see it and it is very visible still even at here you can see it horizontally tilting it the visibility of that is great the brightness of that is great as well so this is a really nice monitor I really like it so now that we went through the main features of that let's get to uh, the well not the really interesting but to a very interesting part I will now show you several DVR videos taken with that monitor with very different cameras uh, ranging from just just uh, 520 VTL to 1200 VTL so you get everything and you can for yourself just uh, think about how you like the recording quality of this monitor I personally like it uh, very much it's the best I have seen so far but please uh, 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 just get your own opinion by watching these videos
so conclude this is in my opinion a really nice diversity DVR uh, uh, monitor with some with some additional functionality here to control your recording camera through BPM out this is a feature which I will take a look at in a future video probably so I like this very much it also comes for what you get here it comes at a very competitive price I think you can get it for around 150 bucks which is really really nice for all these features for the great viewing angle you get and so on so this is really nice I really like this product I will provide all links in the video description for you to check out so if you also like this product or if you just liked my video or my channel please leave a thumbs up Please subscribe to my channel and I'm looking forward to see you next time.